Well, morning camper is it's still the first of October. Um, I just go to the shower, just but I'll be breakfast. This is uh, the sort of stuff I do eat. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I mean, cup of tea. Well, I've got a couple of messages saying people are um, worried about. Not worried, that's the wrong word. Concerned with my health and how I am. Well, I'm quite good, really. Um, we no codger, I suppose. Hmm. Anyway, I'm at Stonehenge, then the sun's out. It's absolutely beautiful up here. This is the. Uh, get up and open the door. That's it, my window that way. See the stones that way, can you? Oh, I'm sort of, sort of plugged in here. There they are. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Today. Um, not much to report. Um, I'm all puffed and powdered and squeaky clean. I'll tell you what I have. I have had. I made some comment the other week about if you smell, you want to smell nice. So I was asked what I smell of. And, um, here you have a look. This is what I put under my oxters. And this is what I spray myself with, as in, like that. Because a lot of you ask such silly bloody questions. And your oxters are your arms. You are. Now you've seen a 70 year old man get all puffed and powdered. Well, there you go. That's about the size of it. I'm having a bit of breakfast. My blood was a little bit high this morning. But. I don't think it was high really because it was up past six and it was 8.7 I think it was well I just done it just now and it's 4.8 so it's all back under control the bloody hell to make this work then yeah so what's happening today I don't know I'm gonna um oh, what's that oh that's me back it's turning the other bloody way around aren't I? um yeah I, um, what's happening today I don't know let me hair dry um, I might go for a walk, I might not. I think I might move on. I don't know whether it's or not, really. Um, I think I will. Uh, I just watched a bit on um, that um, Wiltshire... Is he Wiltshire travelling man? He's got a Suzuki motorbike, but he's riding around Salisbury Plain on a 400... Um, what's it called? Himalayan, a Royal Enfield thing. And he was telling me about... Um, or was telling me about... Telling the world about... Um, what it was like. But apparently they spell it sound like a bag of fucking Spanish, but they all sound like that. So I'm just a bit peckish. You have to excuse me. Or not, whichever. Hmm. And you see what I eat for breakfast as well. Well, not much more to say apart from it's a beautiful day. I'm not a miserable fuck. I mean, people sending me messages about this jock in a fucking box. And that I'm not really interested. You know, if he's doing what he's doing, good luck to him. If he gets a message from me, I'll put a message out. If he wants to put himself right, put himself straight, and he wants to meet up, I'll do an interview with him. And he can put his side of the story. Unbiased, what have you. I'll make sure he's not in any stress. Or anything like that, I will um, make a list of questions up so we get like a 10 minute video and let him approve the questions. And then I will tell you the questions that he doesn't want to answer rather than ask them, make him look funny, make him look odd, make him look bad, make him whatever. 
I don't think he needs me to make him look fucking bad. I think he's doing fucking well enough on his jock, on it, on his jock, on his jack, on his own. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, peeps, uh, if you know him and what have you, and you get a message to him, you get a message to me, and I will meet him. I mean, he's in London. He's only a hundred and odd miles away, and I may want to wander most of the week. So I'll just wander up and meet him. Um, no Mickey fucking mouse ones where, you know, you say you're him and, you know, and I, don't, I don't want to know bollocks. But give the chap a chance to put his, put his thing and if it can be arranged, it can be arranged. Anyway, I'm not usually a dip diplomat. I don't find diplomacy is very good in my world. I find extreme violence always works. Um... Like when I lived, well, I won't tell you where I lived, <laughs> but when I lived and the guy used to keep parking across the end of the drive, I told him twice and he kept doing it. So I went out the third time or the fourth time and told him and he said, well, it's the fucking road. You haven't got a drop curb. Give me a fucking right hard time. So I just punched him in the face. And the problem went away. Well, the police came, but then the problem went away. Never parked across her again. Because the policeman said, oh, this, that, and blah, 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 blah. I like this one. They don't want to press charges. I like that one, see, because they only want to press charges because they ain't got no fucking witnesses. But that's by the boy. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's by the boy. <laughs> you know. I'm really, really, I'm really, really good-natured. You know. But, you know. But it's, um... Yeah, we used to have a little poodle when I was growing up. And that was the most softest thing and friendly dog you could wish to have. But if you fucked with her, she'd bite you. Anyway, peeps, you have a good day, you know. In, um... Uh, yeah, I can't really think of anything else to say. You have a good day and I'll speak to you all later. Remember, stay classy, little fighting. And remember... Have a little look and make a comment for Travelling Doris. Bye-bye.